Let's install the lower unit here by the documentation, however, with some secrets. And not just a simple lower unit, but the big one, uh, Bigfoot old name or common trust, the new name. We install it in forward position. The forward already set there on the board, but here to get forward we rotate uh, the drive shaft clockwise. It always rotates uh, clockwise and here anti-clockwise, the shift shaft, we should find the latest uh, uh, position. So, uh, because you can catch maybe just a middle, but you need to continue rotate with two hands. Of course, uh, my hand is occupied now. So, and uh, we, we got the uh, correct forward. You will see that um, the prop shaft rotating uh, clockwise. So, it's prepared. I promised that we do by the documentation, yeah, so and the documentation says about forward position, yeah. Uh, actually, I have a video about how I um, dismount, how I set this lower unit, the old one, uh, and how everything rotates there, how everything works, in the same playlist with this video, so you can check it. And uh, in some documentation, I think it was for this unit, it says that we install in forward and they're given more details. When you install in forward, you will be able to um, rotate um, the prop anti-clockwise uh, to set this drive shaft on its position. Uh, yeah, so it's a kind of first secret. Um, but it was somewhere in the documentation. Uh, let's see if we will need to apply this secret. Uh, Bigfoot requires a longer stud here, 100 millimeters. I don't have it, I will cut it from the stainless steel, but this I remove with the method of uh, two nuts. Yeah. That's it, not worse than the original one, don't you agree? If you are, like it. And the next step, third, uh, we skip the second. Yeah, install the water tube seal, apply uh, Teflon. Uh, so uh, this is Teflon 24C, uh, this is the coupler, water coupler sealer. Uh, when you buy it, uh, the unit is usually already it comes with the coupler and is already sealed, not from this side. Well, it says about a tunnel diameter, so I will put sealing here. And there is a little secret uh, discovered in the um, um, service manual. Uh, when you install the unit, you can put it there on the middle unit first, uh, because it's easy uh, to catch this point rather than uh, you have it here and catch the point there. Yeah, because maybe some tolerance there. So, you got the point, right? And the next point is apply a bed of RTV uh, 587 silicone. And guys, uh, here, I didn't expect this because the uh, small lower unit, it has this part. Yeah, it's not silicone, it comes here. So I didn't expect that I will need the silicone here. Yeah, but here is just a metal, some kind of transport silicone there. I didn't research it. But they suggest, uh, they offer to do this yourself. Do it yourself, yeah, nice. Well, I don't have that right uh, silicone, but I have another options. I hope they work. Uh, you can see here, yeah, clear, poor English, Corkit lamp atiloya. So it support uh, the high temperatures. Or maybe that one, also quite clear, Tasuti Vistus. Yeah, so, well, also the temperature, yeah, so... Uh, eight of them. Just keep in mind, I think I will use this one. Just keep in mind, you need to do silicone, to apply silicone yourself, in case of this unit. Uh, so, th that is the note I mentioned about the secret install. Uh, the ceiling first there on the middle unit. Okay, we skip it. And the next will be apply a light coat, guys. Light coat in both, and in both uh, cases of uh, PTFE on the drive shaft splines and uh, shift shaft splines. And here is a very important point that 
uh, don't apply, I will explain to you, don't apply coating here on the top of them. So, and it says that if you don't clean it well here, you can damage the power head there. So, lightly applying here, clean it here, don't apply here. So, I think next I will just show you the procedure and we go to install it. No, it's inconvenient to show with one hand, do with one hand. Uh, so we just first apply and then actually clean. This way we get uh, the light coating. Question to you guys, I really don't know about this uh, a kind of burnt ring. Yeah, so the metal is okay here. So it's like, uh, like burnt metal. So I, I, I don't know the reason for this on the old unit. So, if you know, let me know. I hope it doesn't mean something bad. So, we kind of like that one. I'm not sure, but it looks like in the documentation. Uh, it stays uh, flexible. Yeah, this uh, ceiling is not permanent. Yeah. So, and one more moment. So, you don't need any bushing here. So, you have it here. Probably it's a kind of start bushing to uh, hold uh, this shift shaft on the place. I'm not really, uh, I don't really know the purpose of this one, but here, uh, maybe because it's longer here. Yeah. So, it's the same length from there, but from here it's short. So, you don't need any bushing here. It's okay. I have seen this in the documentation that there is now parts goes here. So guys, that's, that is another secret if you walk alone. So you remove the coal and uh, you use that kind of solution to support it. Yeah, so I put the uh, water couple first there. Uh, you have seen it. Yeah, now I will try to align uh, the drive shaft by rotating this by hands, probably anti-clockwise. Let's see then how it goes there. I don't know yet, but let's see. Well, guys, two hours. Yeah. Even a uh, helper was here, we couldn't fit all previous secrets, didn't work, yeah? So now I tell you the new secrets. You can see the open uh, uh, plastic part from the middle unit. So that is the first secret, yeah? Uh, guys, the problem that you will always met is to align the shift shaft. Uh, the drive shaft is not a problem at all. When you are, uh, shift into forward gear and you rotate uh, this prop anti-clockwise, then on, uh, when it's free, yeah? So when the lower unit is free, only the drive shaft rotates, n nothing else. Uh, and it allows you, when you're pushing and rotate it anti-clockwise, slightly, slightly, it allows you to align uh, the drive shaft there. Yeah, so uh, it's easy. When you have a gap 
uh, of a finger here so about that one it means that your drive shaft already sits there it's not a problem and when you have this gap it means that you cannot uh, fit your uh, shift shaft it is a huge problem always yeah so um, it looks like something else holds no no it's the shift shaft always and um, the previous secret was just a little bit uh, move it from um, initial position and then it fits it didn't work here two hours and the help tried to switch in different uh, uh, shift into uh, reverse ne neutral and um, uh, forward and we try different options no and then I realized that I can access it here so you can see the mark I put for testings and once I access it and move it it has a lot of movements there in all directions actually on the small lower unit you have this bushing which aligns it when you put it so but here you cannot do there is no bushing I actually thinking about to make my own then so uh, the bushing are your fingers so you are trying to align it here and once I did it it goes hoops and I was thinking nice absolutely nice but it still have some motion I test it and nothing works actually because it's just go on the side yeah so then I uh, took pliers yeah and I start so there is no uh, like exact m method how how I did it yeah so uh, I, I tried with pliers uh, rotate it while I push it uh, and I found that okay it's a kind of aligned but not finally then I went there and shift into neutral and I heard uh, a little bit different sound like I move something here then I uh, put it uh, to the forward again I come here and then it goes yeah so the uh, the main secret <laughs> secret here is that you have access to the shift shaft here with this access you, you you can do more things otherwise it will be difficult yeah so guys i hope he, it is really useful information for someone i helped uh, if i did then please like subscribe it encourages me to share this information yeah it's later time but i'm still talking to you let's test it yeah we didn't got a short video as always but let's cover all things then so we are in forward this ratchet click is the right one and reverse doesn't work yeah it's written in the service manual and cover it in my another video also in neutral you have rotation in any direction of course and in the reverse you don't have any rotation in your direction well guys it's later evening here and i think uh, i don't have time to record more but probably it's okay i covered everything except that i will need to apply the right uh, torque and loctite for nuts uh, for bolts here yeah for the nut here look how nice is it's my own design here yeah so remember to like uh, and accept especially subscriptions because they encourage me to share this information with you and let me know in comments what you like and uh, what you didn't like and see you next time bye